peeps, peps, and peoples. Okay, so first off, if you're new to this channel, I am a bit rambly, hence the name, unabashedly spacey. I'm a bit of a spacey person. Anywho, so I don't know. Today I'd like to talk about, let's see. I don't know. I don't think I've ever truly experienced art block. I think that for me personally, if there's ever a time where I don't know what I want to draw or I cannot find a reference for the life of me, just go back and look at old drawings. Like this is the third time I've done this drawing and the past few months. And it's just one, it's fun to see this drawing in different art styles. And it's fun to see how I've improved over the past few months. But it's also like it's also like a, a good way to breathe life into a piece of art and be like, wow, I've improved so much and I did this. I created something new that oh also it's interesting because um the more you do this the more you start to stray away from your original reference photo i think my original picture for this was a combination of three different references a person's face shape a uh, particular hairstyle and then uh, i used a different reference for the shading of like the skin tone and stuff and then for my one after that it was less focused on the creation of that drawing and the idea and the concept of that drawing and it was more focused on the actual okay what things about this do I not enjoy what things about this do I wish I can improve upon like I don't like the face proportions or I think that the eyes are slightly too far apart or that they're slightly lazy eyed not that there's anything wrong with having a lazy eye or uh just things like that or some discrepancies in the lighting or places in the skin I wish were smoother or maybe there needs to be a correction change and then so for this one my focus was more on basically for the past three days there's been this art style I've been absolutely obsessed with um that's just an amalgamation of different things I've seen on Pinterest but it's just like this creepy doll kind of vibe with like drippy teary eyes and one of the things I like about this art style is, one, I don't have to worry about the placement of the iris and the pupil and all that whatnot. It's these very, like, void-like, expressionless, kind of creepy. I kind of like it. Anywho. And another thing about this. So basically, my point is, for my third drawing, um, it's just, like, just me trying new things. And the point of this is to experiment. Whereas the other two were to perfect and to learn. This one is basically, you got to learn the rules before you can break them. The last two drawings of this character are me learning the rules, and this one is me breaking them. It has, if you've seen the other two, it has the same energy and the same aura. No, actually, I, I take that back. It has the same skeleton, and it has some of the same aspects, but a completely different aura and a completely different energy. And, for instance, I was very careful, and I spent a very long time on how I did the eyelashes on my last two versions of it. I wanted these very clean, very sharp looking eyelashes. Very crisp looking, very professional looking. For this one, I wanted it to look like somebody put on too many layers of mascara where your eyelashes are spiral legged and gloopy. And in 99.9% .9 of art tutorials, they'll tell you how to avoid doing this, how to avoid getting gloopy eyelashes. Well, today I wanted eyelashes to gloop. And here, I'm just experimenting around with different um, textures. So I last time I did a painting like this, um, like the, the drawings I did, I've been doing for the past week. If you don't know, I tend to change art styles every week. But there's these very rough, rugged art styles. And for this one, I decided I want it to be more clean and to keep some of the doll-like aspect of my other redraws of this and then so I end up changing her hair to black rather than the bluish yarn looking thing I had going and then I thought maybe blood splatter but then I decided <laughs> never mind it's a little too I think that made it a little too edgy and also I thought that the bright red colors didn't mesh so well with the vibe I was going for with my brighter pastels not that like you can't have a combination of the two but I feel like by having blood in this picture, it would have detracted from what I was going from. Because that would have be that would have become the main focal point rather than the drippy black eyeliner looking eyes. You know? 
And then for the hair, I'll eventually get to this, but I made it slightly uneven. Like, I, you, can, you can definitely tell. It's because in my original version of it, her hair was blowing in the wind. But I don't know. I kind of like this one where it looks like her hair is a little dry and frizzy. But it looks like it's a very still room. Like a basement. Ooh, also, if you hear, like, movement sounds, like... I'm like, every time I record, I record underneath a blanket or unless I'm lazy. In that case, I record at my desk, which is very echoey, but yeah, mini backstory. So here I'm going to spend the next 80 years trying to figure out a backstory and then editing the finer details. Like in my past drawing, two drawings of this character, I've had a bluish or bluish black or almost black. It's like so, so dark, um, background. And then I had light coming from above and then wind. And so for this one, I wanted to just try something different. I felt like those two went, those two were, it, it, cause my last two drawings of this were the same art style, just in a, um, like the second one was just an improved version of it. And so for this one, since I completely changed the art style, I thought I should change the background cause it's like a completely different vibe. Oh, that reminds me. Somebody wanted me to do a tutorial on how I give, like, paint textures to everything. Which, it's like, you you use, like, um, multiplied layers. I'll do that. I'll do a video on that at some point. Tutorials are cool. I just kind of forget to do them because I'm an awful teacher. Anywho. And so right now, I'm just changing up her shirt. Originally, I had a white button-up that had a pointy collar thingy. But for this one, I decided to go with black and rounded, which one, adds to the doll aspect of the painting, and two, just looks cuter. <laughs> I feel like I had a different number two there. One, cute. Two, it fits the vibe of her hair better. There we go. I also wanted to make her hair very dark and undetailed, much like her eyes. And then I was going to add, I don't know what it's called, but sometimes on like the edge of shadows... It'll be, it'll be like a little bit of an orange to like separate the lights and the shadows, which I had in my last two paintings for this, but I decided not to on this one because it looked like red veins on her um, extremely porcelain skin. Anywho, so I decided to take those out. And here I am just adding details to her hair to round it out more so it's not so flat looking. Since I changed the vibe, and pretty soon we're going to get a bunch of flashing lights on screen because I'm going to change the background like 80 times. This is also one of the reasons that this video is so long because this picture has so many color changes that it would look like a disco light if I didn't do this, if I didn't like slow it down. Also, somebody asked me to start making longer, long videos, which, oh, it was so sweet. Like, legit, like... I was really busy, yes busy yesterday, so I didn't have time to really make a vid upload or talk about anything. But ugh, the, the comment really made my day. I like sat back for a second. And I'm like, yeah, this channel was a good decision. Like, I think that, um, I think that looking at views and looking at likes just oftentimes feels like statistics. Like, I think it, sh it it feels like it should mean something to you, but it doesn't. And then I feel like comments, it feels like something beyond just a statistic. It feels like a conversation with an actual person. Same thing with live streams. It, I, I think that I would definitely say I get more enjoyment and I find enjoyment in my channel from comments much, much, much more than I ever do with having an exponential amount of likes and comments. Subs, on the other hand, are great either way. I'll take them. <laughs> but yeah, oh, we're getting to the end of this video. But yeah, if you really, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and perhaps check out some of my other videos I'm going to have pinned in the end credits. Anyway, love you guys. Goodbye.